Okay, in this video I'm going to use AirPlay from my Apple iPad 3 on my boxy box attached to my television set here. Now if you're interested in any of the videos I have on the boxy box or the Apple iPad 3, please click the link at the end of this video. Now if you're familiar with AirPlay, you'll know that you can take media from your iPad and push it to your television set as long as you have a box that is AirPlay compatible connected to your television set. You can do this with an Apple TV. In this case, I'm using a boxy box. Now, the boxy box should recognize your Apple iPad right out of the box. But if it doesn't, what you need to do is go to your settings. So I'm going to hit my menu button here, and I'm going to bring you down to settings down here and just show you what I'm talking about. You go up to file sources and add sources and up top there it says Apple filing protocol and you can just click on that as I said my device recognized AirPlay right out of the box so I'm just gonna back out of here and go back to the home screen here now you can sling a whole host of different media from your iPad to your boxy box I'm gonna show you three different kinds the first of which is local media stored on your iPad. So let me show you my iPad here. I have a video queued up that's stored locally on the device. I'm just going to tap the screen and up here I have some controls. This control here which is an arrow pointing to a screen is the one I want. So I'm going to click on that and it brings up a menu. It says AirPlay. iPad where you can play it just right on your iPad or here you see Boxy. So I'm going to select Boxy here and already you see it on the screen behind me. So let me press play on the iPad here and it should queue up. Now while that's doing that it says AirPlay this movie is now playing on Boxy. That's what it says on your iPad and it's queuing up right now on the television set and it should play in a second. So this video is bouncing from my iPad to my boxy box to my television set. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a YouTube video. So I'm going to click on my YouTube app here on my iPad and I'm going to click on the new Apple iPad 3 specs video. So I'm going to click on that and it's loading it up and if you look down here you have the same option that you had before which is that screen with an arrow okay on it. in this video I'm going so to go over the specs this for a on second. the brand new iPad the app and I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna select boxy now you have two options you have a audio boxy or a video boxy I'm gonna click on the video boxy here and it should queue it up on the television set over there now it's not officially called the Apple iPad and there we 3. Go. They call it the new Let iPad. Let me turn this down a little bit. For the sake of differentiating this product from the previous product. Now this is what you see on the iPad here. It just shows that the video is playing on the boxy. But the video is still playing and what I could do is I could actually scrub the video to a further along point in the video and let's see, let's put where there's a little motion there where my hand is. So it fast forwards the video and you have total control of it here on your iPad but you're watching it on your television set. So let me turn this back up a little bit. The size of the device and the weight of the device. Now it's obvious that it hasn't affected the size of Now the while device. this is playing what you can do if you want you can actually go from here to your home screen and use your iPad for something else whether you want a web surf or do whatever you want to do, you can use the iPad for other things other than playing this video while it's still playing on the television set. So that's a nice multitasking feature on AirPlay. Now in my third demonstration here I'm going to show you music. In the first demonstration I showed you media, which was a video, beamed from my Apple iPad to my boxy box through AirPlay. But in this demonstration what I'm doing is I'm taking audio, a song that's on my iTunes on my computer, beaming it over to my iPad and then using AirPlay shooting that music over to my boxy box and then feeding it out of my television set. 
So in the upper right hand corner you'll notice the AirPlay icon. I'm going to click on that and it gives me option to play on my iPad or Boxy or Boxy. Now generally that third Boxy is the audio and video and the second Boxy is the audio. But they're all showing up as audio only because this is a music file. So I'm just going to click on the second Boxy here and I'm going to hit play and it should queue up on the boxy box there we go it says streaming and it should play from the iPad in a second now let me control the audio here you can control it on the iPad and there's somewhat of a delay when you actually do it but there we go you can actually control the audio from the iPad and as you notice you get a visualizer on your screen and that's from the boxy so that's nice and of course just like with the video you can hit the home button here and do other things while that's playing you can surf the internet do whatever you want it seems like there is a little bit of a lag here uh, while I'm doing some other things. Now it's a little bit better there, but there was for a second there. So that's AirPlay on the Boxy Box. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So that pretty much does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.